All right, I'm going to show you all how to use a key mixer to achieve what's commonly called the Pleasantville effect um, from the movie Pleasantville. Basically, we're going to be keying out specified colors, qualifying specified colors, um, to create that effect. So what we're going to do, I've already, I've got a shot here that I've already balanced somewhat. <clears throat> And we're going to start by adding a key mixer. And we're going to add another corrector right away. And we're going to run our first node to this corrector with the RGB line and then connect it to our output. Make this a little bigger. <clears throat> okay. Now, if we just want to do one color, this is really, we could start just by doing this. We could use this setup to key just one color, but I'm going to jump right to two colors so you know how to do multiple colors. And once you see me do it like this, you'll be able to do three or four or five colors, whatever you want. Um, so we're going to add another corrector. And that's going to be to key in one color. And we're going to add another corrector. Oops, that was a parallel. Delete node. Add another corrector. And that's going to be our second keyed color. So it's important to remember that you drag the RGB line from 1 to 4 here, as well as to 5, because we want a whole, we want the whole range of color in these guys to pick from. But once we're in 4 and 5, that's when we're going to actually specify for each one which color is going to be designated for that. Get in a phone call. Hold on. It's my work, but I'll call them back. All right. Um, so remember that from here, 4 and 5, we're actually going to pull out the key, which are these blue icons here. So we're going to pull one to each channel. These things come with two, but if you need more you can right, right click and add one input. And I don't need it so I'm going to delete, remove one input. And then we're obviously going to take our key out into this key in on three. So there our image comes back up once we complete the tree. <clears throat> and I'm going to jump ahead here so you can see what we're doing. Remember that 1 is running to 3, okay? 1 goes directly to 3 with the RGB. So I can go ahead and desaturate 3. And that's going to be important because keep in mind what we're doing is we're going to key out colors which are going to go ahead and sit back on top of our image and on three, which will be desaturated. So we're going to essentially sit layers through our key mixer on top of three that are drawn from our original node. So now if I go to four, we're pretty much done here, you'll see. When I go to four, and I use my qualifier, you'll see I get my blue and it's sitting on top of three. Go ahead and add a little blur to that to make it a little softer. And then I'm going to use five to select the red in this umbrella. I'm going to blur that a little bit too. There you go and you can see right away. Since I desaturated, you can see I can go back to node 3 now and I can bring my saturation back up and you'll see there it is. There's the shot looking like I didn't do that at all. But when I desaturate it, the key mixer is causing those qualified colors to sit on top of the third node. And obviously you can go ahead and add another one 
and in this one maybe I'll draw the green out of the ground and then we'll basically have the entire shot but the darks won't have as much color in them let's go ahead and add one oops not on this one on the key mixer add one input and connect those inputs and then I'm gonna go in six and select the green and there you go you can see the more of it kind of kind of varies depending on where I'm hitting with the selector but there we go folks thanks for watching